There it is. Can you hear me now? Yes, you can. Okay. Welcome in. This is part six of our playthrough of Lands of Lore on the Retro PC. The game is uh, ready to go. Last time we struggled a bit for a while in the tower. And uh, my plan was to try to finish the tower uh, before the end of stream, but uh, eventually I failed. So uh, we saved the game and uh, decided to continue next run. We're having a particularly tough time with some undead monsters on the fourth floor of the tower. And uh, the plan tonight is to finish up the tower and see what uh, comes after it. Not sure how much there is left of the fourth floor, but uh, it was proving quite tough for us, so uh, I have planted it. Another three fun hours of lunch lore tonight. Let's get going. Game is ready to go. At least hear the background music. Just fine. And Ms. Dostov in the chat. Let me know if the uh, game audio is too low. I might uh, tune it up if it is. Sometimes a little bit hard for me to tell on stream whether it is or not. So here we were. We obviously need to rest again. We're obviously being beat up as well. Something is. Ah, yes. TP. Save. Mid battle. No. I don't think we did. Let's rest down here. That's just uh, basically has been our motors operandi to uh, fight these guys and then run like cowards back to the third floor and rest and then come back. I guess uh, I guess that's a strategy, but it's <laughs> perhaps not the bravest one. I uh, did this so many times last time around that I still remember seemingly exactly I don't hear the sound effects playing Although we really should. This is all correct here. It looks fine. March on the uh, don't see any audio being generated. Oh, it's one of these guys. These guys are a lot of her who we'll, uh, fight them with some magic. I don't know, I make a third of the game, what do you call an alligator in the west? An investigator. <laughs> Welcome in. Going to uh, do a quick check of uh, what exactly is going on with the game audio. I can't hear it. I'll uh, be right back.
Rumors that I was adding it to the dad joke, but that is uh, are somewhat exaggerated. Don't actually see any particular reason why we should be hearing the game audio. So, apparently, we are not. And, uh, What the hell was that? Some sort of shortcut. A wrong computer with a keyboard. Yeah, the digital samples seem to be missing. Not sure why. guys not sure why that could actually be everything seems to be plugged in and working at least verified that the cable is plugged in correctly Sky was pretty tough. Okay, I uh, I followed him on Amiga Bill's stream just uh, uh, last week, so uh, he should pop in my chat. I'm uh, terribly busy this weekend. My wife took the kids out of town going to try to uh, do a spring cleaning of the house while she's away so uh, depending on when it is I might or might not be able to join I might be able to listen though Okay, I verified that it's actually plugged into the back of the computer as well. 5 or 6 p.m. His time zone. If uh, he's in Greece, right? So he's, uh, he's not on Europe, he's on a plus one. So it's, uh, it's almost nine o'clock, probably. That's not too bad. I might make that. I don't understand why we aren't hearing the game audio. Just really don't. Everything is plugged in on both sides. Who knows? Yeah, GMT plus one, yeah, okay. It's a real pain in the ass that we can't hear the audio. these guys I 
This area is a massive pain in the ass. These guys seem to just endlessly spawn. And uh, no matter how many of them you kill, they always seem to come back. Not entirely sure if... Uh, No, we uh, played it with the Roland last stream as well, and it was fine, so that's not what's bothering it, or shouldn't be. I might... Uh, might uh, finish off this guy and uh, save and return, see if we can uh, get the game to uh, work. Hard to play it without hearing the sound because you, you need to hear these guys approaching. Very hard actually to play it without the digital sound. The sound is actually fairly important. Now we do have a general MIDI device and we want the sound effects to be played from the Sound Cluster Pro. Yes. No. It's obvious that we can't hear it as well. So we don't even hear it in the intro. So a quick reboot. Yeah. Or retro or true retro gaming in general. Always a bit of debug involved. Can't even remember the name of my own scripts. Fairly sure we still hear nothing. Starting to wonder if this is a PC problem. A streaming PC problem. Not so much a retro PC problem. Although I checked that as well before the stream, and that looked fine. This is okay. And this is also okay. Let me set it like this. Still can't hear anything. Okay. Let us do. Yeah, I checked the wiring twice. It looks correct. It looks correct. Let us see if... Uh Okay, it works perfectly fine in Madden Magic. It works perfectly fine and in fact the uh, volume is tuned very high for this game. 
So that's not the issue. Why isn't it working here? I can hear a little crackle sound where the game loads up. Now it works. Okay. Cheers game. Might have been a volume issue on the on the card. Although the default volume is pretty high. Yeah. Shelton to the rescue. He's fixed our audio. No one cares why. It's a bird. It's not a plane. It is a bird. Might need to tune this down a little bit. And rest. This has uh, been a bit of a derp. Let's see if we can actually find some rhythm here. Fairly sure these guys are always here. Uh, I haven't figured out this bit yet. There's a, there's a pit here, which we most desperately need to avoid. Trying very hard to get rid of this guy without having to go back. And, uh, it's very difficult. Yeah, we're not gonna succeed in doing so. The problem is that when we go back, we uh, we need to face all of these monsters again, which are. Uh, Less than great. Uh, we can sort of uh, get rid of the yellow ones in a in a single turn if we have all the spells. And I've got a little bit lucky, but uh, getting rid of the blue ones is more difficult. The two types of these blue creatures here, there's also that uh, phantom, which is really not all that difficult. Can be fought using regular weapons. And then there's this, uh, these phantom guys, which are tough as nails. Let's not let them surround us here. Yeah. I need to get back. And uh, their numbers don't seem to dwindle. Either there's a, a ton of them there, or they respawn every time we go up there. Just though we fought these guys a hundred times by now. So I have a feeling that they come back every time you go up. Hey there, piece I kick. Welcome in. Wrong spell. That was nice. We just cast a level 4 healing spell on everybody, which was uh, largely unnecessary. I don't have enough magic. 
I don't have enough magic. Heather cremated too. Welcome in. One down. Many more to go. So, go back downstairs. This is basically the only strategy I found which sort of works. Sackman Kraken is uh, on Wednesdays. We, um, we alternate games based on the day of the week. On Fridays, we tend to play Free Toss Fridays, which is some sort of toss game, either an, an adventure one or a role playing one. And uh, on Saturdays, we play something from the Might and Magic collection. On days we like to call Sheltam Saturdays. On Wednesdays are World of Commodore Wednesdays. We play something on the Amiga. Usually, sometimes the C64 as well. Another one of these guys here. They're persistent. I'll give him that. Take these guys on without going back, which is a bit of a pain. Or maybe we could, but the problem is that uh, is it? Okay, I'm sorry it is updated, but uh, which does not seem to have grabbed it. Is it okay now? Did it fix itself? It's just important. Okay. Twitch must not have gotten it when I pressed it. Or I didn't press the button. I would be admitting a mistake though, which we never do. What is with these guys? Like the Olsen twins, they always travel in pairs. Probably uh, the closest match would probably be Eye of the Beholder 2, although it's uh, not quite the same. But, uh, Your dad joke was not all that bad. I make a total of the game where you can tell it again if you want. Welcome in, Gleaser. Really struggling with this part of this level. These guys keep coming back, and I keep having to go back downstairs to heal. And uh, then I need to go up again and get hit by these guys again, and then we go in this endless loop. Probably gonna die this run because we won't be able to kill this guy. We're getting hit from both sides. We're out of mana. Conrad is still doing okay health-wise. I haven't really attacked him yet. 
Wow, that fun. I don't think this is. I have the Beholder on the uh, Amiga, which was had at least the HA version had a decently good graphics. It wasn't really all that slow on the Amiga. Decently good. These guys really took a beating on us as usually. Just making it to the point in a level where we haven't solved a puzzle is hard enough. Keep having to have these same fights over and over again here. Now there's three of them. A Phantom of the Opera and uh, the other two guys. Yeah, many of these games are uh, easily ported in a way to other platforms. This could have been on the Amiga, but the uh, at the point when this game came out, most of the major developers like Westwood had decided that uh, there was little future in making Amiga games and uh, didn't even attempt a port. Fairly sure this could have been a good Amiga game. Rushed here, probably. Yeah, there's there are quite a few. There's a black crypt and uh, I'll be holder one and two, obviously, which uh, you probably played the Mega Turtle game, so they're probably not on your list. And, uh, there are also um, quite a few German role-playing games for the Amiga that were never translated. The Germans are fond of the role-playing games. I saw some releases which never made it to, to uh, the rest of the world. Although some did, some were translated. This guy is really tough. This guy really is really tough. And there are more of them. I don't know what is the best way to approach this. Yeah, north and south on the Amiga is pretty good. It's a common running joke on uh, on the Amiga missionaries from Finland stream to. Uh, Ask them to play North and South. They always fare pretty similarly, they're not really all that good at it, but it's a, it's a, it's a good game. Doing too hot. And uh, one of the problems with fighting these guys is that they go through walls. So um, the usual methods of of hiding aren't quite as effective. And uh, once you're cornered by these guys they can run to the end of the hallway with you and uh, there is no escaping them they can go through the door 
Although they don't seem to be able to travel down the stairs. So, uh, running away is really our only option. And, uh, it's a bad option. We can tackle these guys on a full set of health. Also difficult to hit. Really quite a pain in the ass. You don't. And that is one of the problems. It does slowly regenerate, but uh, when you need to use it like this, it's uh, tough. The yellow ones are. Uh, pretty much immune to melee magic they seem to have a very high armor class so our choices are limited in how we could potentially fight them magic is really the only option there's a phantom somewhere yeah there he is can't see them as well he was uh, he was inside the wall fighting us yeah, this is a difficult bit in the game, probably the toughest bin. We, uh, this is basically where we left it last stream because uh, we couldn't get past it. I'm nothing if not stubborn though, so I'll keep trying until I eventually succeed. There's always this blue guy here. We need to get past. Somehow. And now. Quartered. It's like it's a. I'm unsure what would be the best approach to this. We could potentially try to get rid of the ghosts before before attempting to go in there so that we don't get cornered like this. It's tough enough to take the blue guy without having to tackle the phantoms as well. That's potentially one way. Um, they're actually pretty strong. They uh, they've leveled up quite a bit. So just these uh, particularly uh, these guys aren't really all that tough. We can uh, we can take these guys easily if uh, we aren't being bothered by something else. We can, uh, first of all, we can attack them without using magic and. Uh, and second of all, they, uh, they don't really hurt us that much, so um, it isn't a huge problem at all. We do have some healing potions, so we can heal the, the health bit. So um, if you don't have to use the magic, that makes it quite a bit easier. But uh, the problem is uh, when these other monsters come in, which is happening now, it's these guys that are the problem, the guys with the sword. They, uh, they do real damage. And they corner you. We go through walls and uh, 
they generally make life very difficult. And, uh, to be frank, I'm not entirely sure An ornate lock. where I should go to get away from these guys. No, the uh, Roman numbers are really just the uh, the uh, level of the fa of the spell. So level three fireball is just the st second strongest fireball you can cast. <clears throat> there aren't a great number of spells in the game, but uh, each one of them has four different levels. Uh, healing spell for example the level 3 healing spell uh, brought with it cure poison and uh, level 4 cures every party member and uh, obviously the higher the level the more it takes off the mana bar down the stairs because uh, this guy has cornered us in here die already you can yes we've uh, appreciated quite a bit throughout the game we have various uh, you have a shield slot and uh a slot for a helmet um, and armor, boots, razors. <clears throat> Bakata is a is a weird guy because uh, he has four hands, so he can have two sets of uh, weapons and armor. But, uh, other than that, it's a fairly typical dungeon romp. We can't go down the stairs, so there seems to be something in our way, which we can't see. You can buy some of them, there are shops. But, uh, most of what we have is something that we found either defeating enemies or somewhere lying around the various places. Mm, this is an example of that. Here was a treasure chest. collect these silver coins we have about 300 silver coins right now our door is closed and we're still being attacked because there's something fighting us through the walls here's this guy again I really wish I could move on from this point, but we haven't solved a riddle of how to get rid of this pit here in the floor. There is a button, but it doesn't seem to close the pit. We might need to... Uh... It's possible that we might have to throw something across the hall to push the button on the other side as well and uh, that's really what we want to do we want to 
try to get past this point so we can stop having this battle again and again and again. But, uh, obviously we need to get past this guy. He's standing in the way of glory. If we can, uh, yeah, we can. Tentative to save. I will use a different slot. The going has been tough. This pit is not a problem for. Uh, Fix the volcano part first. Mm, I don't remember which part was that. Yeah, damn it. There's another one of these guys right here. What we really need is a way to rest. Pretty much using any means possible. This is fine. If it's just this guy, we can take him. So we need to recover our mana. We can't proceed without it. Who's beating up on us? Ah, oh, there he is. There was a warning about this earlier in the game that the walls were alive. They are. They are indeed alive. This is the welcoming committee. How many of those guys are there here? Let me rest just once. Ah, yes. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think he's hitting with the crossbow. It's still a fireball based crossbow, which doesn't seem to affect this guy at all. In fact, I think, uh, in fact, I think, uh, only really the, uh, the stronger melee weapons get through, not doing too good on health, must be said. I wonder if, uh, These guys just auto regenerate here forever so we can't sleep. Perhaps. Is the, perhaps the only discourse is just to move along. That might be the only way we can approach this. We're still being hit. There's a guy here. Definitely in bad business. There's a door there. 
Another one over here. The third one over here. Lots of pressure plates. Now we're cornered. Let's load again. Let's see if we can find any place where we could potentially be safe. Sort of sword. Let's mm. see if it's a uh, effective against these guys. Might not necessarily be. These are all pretty much dead ends. these guys a whole group of them in fact it's a dead end <laughs> and we're cornered What would really save us at this point is um, you have no faith. You have no faith. What did the guy say? You have no... what? We have no what? What did he say? I heard it twice, still didn't hear it clearly. There's a bow here on the floor. Does very much. And, uh, it's not gonna be useful to us anyway because we're all gonna die here. We are using the OCC, yes. We are. Uh, I'm taking the uh, the output from the uh, retro PC right now. It's going into audio video three on the OCC, and uh, it's being passed through mostly from the PC side since this is a 31 kilohertz signal. It doesn't really need all that much cleaning. It's pretty clean. And, uh, some of the other platforms, in, uh, including the uh, the Amiga and uh, many of the 50 kilohertz, do need quite a bit of cleaning. Okay, we were at least able to rest. Yeah, the Amiga is uh, is going into uh, audio video one on the OCC, where I'm upscaling it uh, five times. Where is this guy? Here probably. And uh, I really upscale it uh, quite a bit and then I scale it back down. That seems to be pretty much the best quality.
So there are two of these guys here that we really, really need to get past to make it through that door. <laughs> The OCC does a, a good job of cleaning up the signal, so it's a, it generates a very good image for streaming. But, uh, it is not perfect, and uh, one of the issues is that uh, no it, uh, it's not great with interlaced screens, it, uh, it's optimized for latency. Uh, not so much concerned with fixing the uh, the interlacing. So what tends to happen is that I wonder if I can run away from these guys. Seriously contemplating just trying to maneuver around them somehow despite the fact that they can move through walls and I can't didn't see this time around at least so uh, interlaced screens flicker quite a bit so uh, as, a, as a flicker fixer as such it's uh, not the greatest tool Yeah, that works decently well. How could we possibly escape this? Yeah, the Amiga is pretty good at the, at the scrolling bits and uh, the OSC does a fair job of doing that and uh, I can capture at 50 frames per second so it, uh, it looks very smooth and uh, Upscaling to an integer of uh, five times or so also means that it looks pretty good on stream. I can't for the life of me think what it is, what is required of us here. Perhaps these pressure plates hold a potential key to keep them pressed that is if we can actually do any of this without being constantly killed by these guys this is a fairly annoying part of the level must be said I have two items ready to place on the on the pressure plates. Let's see if we can manage to do that without getting cornered. We did. Does that even mean? 
can't even understand what the guy is saying. Incredibly tough. Incredibly tough. You can't kill these guys quickly enough. It's just the way it is. The Roland synth we're using is a uh, very high quality, so uh, it doesn't really get all that repetitive, even if it's pretty much always the same tune. Very few Amiga games actually use a MIDI synth, a few do, but it's very rare. Basically screwed. We can barely make a dent in these guys. That's just the way it is. There are two types of these. Uh, these Roland synths. There's uh, well, there are more than two, but there are two that are very common. There's the MT32, which was used in the early LucasArts games and the early Sierra games, and uh, that's basically an FM synthesizer. And then there's a uh, the SC55, which you can see in the system cam, which is uh, a sampled sound MIDI synthesizer with a pretty large sample bank was used a lot in the, uh, the early 90s and uh, into the late 90s as a, a music generation tool. This is almost impossibly difficult. Can't see how we are supposed to get past this. Yeah, this is a very tough bit, but yeah, it's by Westwood and uh, it does look a lot like uh, Eye of the Beholder. In many ways, gameplay is uh, similar in some ways as well, not in others. But, uh, this is a part of the game where we're really struggling. These enemies can corner us. Uh, we can't really escape to rest and uh, there is no safe haven. So basically we can find our way in here and uh, I'm guessing that shutting the door does nothing because these guys can in fact travel through walls, get out of the doorway, do miserable things. Yeah. Uh, 
you can't really fight these guys you can fight one at a time maybe if we're lucky we can uh, take two even entirely sure we're causing much damage using any of these spells hard to tell actually that's the tactic that we were using but uh, since there is no place to run to that's uh, become impossible to do. But, uh, that is the tactic we were using. We were uh, running down to the other floor and uh, resting there. Perhaps the best option is maybe to use the healing potions. Instead of trying to fight them by magic, I'm not entirely convinced that they were actually doing much damage to them using magic. There are still two of these guys here. I think that's actually a better plan to use the healing spells rather than attempt to fight them close combat that does not seem to be a good solution at all now there are just simply too many of them maybe that's why the game is gifting us a bow Maybe we should just take the game's hint. The switch to using bows. I'm trying to uh, use the range combat. Oh, the game really does not make that very easy there's an extra bow here as well which we can equip it's... this inventory system is not the greatest in the world it leaves things to be desired doesn't help that these guys are incredibly hard to hit although that might not be the same it's entirely possible that these phantoms are, uh, are much harder to hit with the ranged weapons some success will save they are but uh, we can't fight the other guys using melee weapons at all so perhaps we can use these I'm not going to run around while these guys are here try to kill these guys off Hoping that we might be able to rest somewhere without getting attacked. That would really help. At this point that would almost be a cheat mode. At 
least we have all of our mana by using this method so we can can heal using other methods one potential method is just to use the healing potions do have some able to rest for a bit at least for long enough that uh, now these guys are here yeah this was not great Just the speed at, at which these guys can take us down. You have no faith. Can't even understand what this guy says. The snake is basically a spell that's being pulled by these guys with a sword. Uh, it does a ton of damage and uh, are very ill equipped to defend against it. I was hoping we could run away here, but uh, no, of course we can't. No, not that I've found at least. <laughs> it would be quite a bit better if this guy wasn't here in our way. Also be quite a bit better if these guys couldn't take us down using just four blows. Against this guy, it's uh, basically the fireball bow, which is the most efficient. So uh, we really need to try to keep him alive so he can use the bow. Not barely making a dent with any of the other weapons. at all I 
We have some mana left, so we can heal up a bit. Not a lot though. I think we're definitely better off switching away from the bows again. spells we have are actually here this is it these are the only spells available let's switch back to the conventional weapons that we have This way, we are actually causing damage. It appears, at least, that we are. Well, this guy does take quite a bit of beating. It's uh, helpful for us to stay right here and uh, see if we could potentially beat enough of them that we could sleep again. They might not all auto regenerate. This at least seemed like a safe spot earlier. There are quite a few of them, but eventually they did subside. We can keep hitting these guys for a bit as long as we aren't hit by the other ones. That's basically the key. guys inside the wall there it is difficult to fight but you cannot see while we're doing this our mana slowly regenerates and so does our capability of casting healing spells need to be able to rest once that would help quite a bit takes a good while when you reach this level it's like any other game it slows down we are uh, if you take a look here they are level four fighters level six fighter level five fighter 
rogue skill is uh, equipped using the bow and the mage skill is uh, done using spells they do eventually go up when, uh, when Paulson joined he was a level 4 fighter and a level 2 mage and a level 1 rogue so he's gained quite a bit mostly by using the crossbow that helps quite a bit we survived this Nothing but fun and games on the other side though. Don't necessarily want to drag all of these guys here at once. No, this does appear to be a safe place. What did this open up? By pressing on that pressure plate. This wasn't like this, right? Okay, it was. Do seem to be getting a moment's peace here. I have no idea why. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun in games. I need some healing here. I'm not doing all that great. Says level four. Yeah, there we go. I assume we're cornered by these guys now. Coming at us from all directions. Die, you miserable thing. guys are there you have no faith. I have no idea what that even means we can run back here really can't escape to anywhere yeah this has been really difficult let's try using these acid skulls see if they help Maybe we should just uh, how do we indeed use them? Okay, like this. They do take mana though. Okay, they do use up mana. That's a bit weird. It's an item. You would think it would not. I wonder if they work decently well on the sword guys. Is that really the problem here?
Not so much these guys. These we can handle pretty easily. Pressing the two pressure plates opens up this little bit here in the wall that has a chest in it. I'm wondering if uh, that chest holds something that we need. Locked. Yes, it is locked. Please open it. Bond of lightning. Potentially useful. Balance reserve. Uh, this is a mana potion. Okay. That is... Hmm. Highly useful. We'll be dead before we can use it, but... Uh, it's still useful. So this... Uh, this little thing holds two items which are of high use to us one of them is this want of lightning which we could potentially use to try to kill off some of these guys the other is <laughs> these two mana potions don't really don't really much care about that. This potentially means that we can use our healing spells. Often, at least makes things almost doable. This game is a tough, tough cookie. It really is. Hmm. Empty. We've been in worse spots than this. Let's see if we can track along. Take that. You miserable git. substantially easier when you can just kill these guys need some healing on Conrad save the uh the mana restoring potions a bit more although they are highly useful you would think but uh it's been a little tough oh, not that yet though Yeah, the lightning rod is a, a huge game changer because we can use that many times. It's tough getting hit, but uh, being able to use it multiple times means that we don't get endlessly hit. This is basically a level 3 lightning 
so their numbers are down quite a bit might even be able to rest at some point which we uh, at this point really need to really low on health I was a little too late damn it I was going to use the health potion I was a little too late left healing up a little bit too long Just to tackle these guys. It was impossible to deal with multiple enemies because uh, they beat you down before you could even uh, use your spells. But, uh, you only had one or maybe two bouts of the magic and then you were dead guy here inside the wall which is beating us up yeah I think that was it escape a little bit here heal up save and then go back to business at hand we need to get rid of all of these guys of these guys Conrad just leveled up just need a moment's break so we can rest here Seem to have gotten rid of the, uh, the guys with the swords, which are really the most painful. The rest almost seem easy in comparison. Okay. We've made actual progress. Not this was the closed door, right? I wonder how many charges this want of lightning actually has. Apparently quite a few. A worn lock. This is a lock to which we probably do not have. I lied. We do have a key. We have a lock pick at least. But there's nothing in here.
Where is the guy? There he is. Less supply of these guys. Always one big party. Although we do have a full strength heal yet, still might want to use it right now. on me let me be these guys are going to give me anxiety I'm going to go have to go and get some Samax for these guys please let me rest thank you The game isn't letting up on the number of enemies, it's just giving us a few extra things to fight them with. We still have a keyhole over on this side to find a way to open. behind me a miserable thing a lock yes it's a lock there's no way to pick this lock okay now is when we go back because I'm fairly sure oh, damn it Another you have no faith. Trying to kill the door. We don't have any key, so that means that the key is somewhere else. Um, there was another chest back there but um fairly sure I emptied that particular chest and did not find a key uh, 
going back for it means I think all of these guys again they've regenerated and are back in numbers number of these guys get through these fights but uh really just barely yeah freeze is uh basically just a spell to uh suspend some animation it uh it's a very early spell it doesn't seem to do anything against any monsters Bad place to die. Damn it. <sighs> this is really frustrating. Seems so unnecessarily difficult. It often just seems that we aren't really making any progress either because uh, they auto regenerate pretty much as quickly as we can kill them. So uh, for every three that we kill, two of them auto regenerate. Largely pointless fighting. We can cast some healing spells. So we do have that going for us. There are no, there are no hit and switches. Anywhere over here, so our options are basically just to go back and I have to tackle these guys, it's just the way it is. We have one more round of healing to go.
We aren't going to be able to do two rounds of healing. So we're going to die here, get cornered by these monkeys. Get here. Drag these guys back here so we can fight them. At least try. Yeah. This is a tough bit of this game. Uh, difficulty level increased a lot in a very short time frame. round with these guys yeah that was actually decently good there is nothing here oh there is there's a secret war there there's nothing there he says but uh indeed there was there's another chest here Probably has the key we're looking for. Now we just need to make it out of this fight alive. Which seems like a foregone conclusion. Yeah. Screw you, game. Let's do this again. Actually rest here. No. Of course we can't. So we were able to rest a little bit. That might potentially save us. We might be able to recuperate our, our mana. So if we finish these guys off, at least try. But this is gonna be tough. There are two of these guys. Very low on mana. These guys we can easily handle. We can handle quite a few more of these. Not an endless amount, but uh, quite a few. Conrad as well. Uh, 
The sheer number of these guys is just insane. They regenerate quicker than we can kill them. This corner here is cursed. Finally, a moment's peace. Okay, a little breather. We were able to restore some of our mana. I'm definitely going to get... These are basically the same boots that we have at the moment. Some stuff here. Don't know how valuable that is. There's a key. Empty. Of course it's empty. The key wouldn't dare actually help us. Get out of the way. These guys are regenerated, full of health. Let's try to fight them off as much as we can. Need to make it down the hallway again. Slowly. Trust this game to leave us alone here? No. Of course not. Why make it easy? Okay. We've been in worse shape and we have the key. So that's progress. The key doesn't fit. A worn lock. That is a decent possibility that I will slaughter this game. Right, take it outside and beat it up. The key doesn't fit. Really? You have got to be trolling me, game. Where does this key fit then? Do we have to go now all the way down to the first floor? Is that it? Which also means that going this way was a bad idea. Possibly the worst possible thing we could have done. Because now we need to fight all of these guys again to make it back to the pit. Which is the really the quickest way to go right now, just falling down the pit. Okay. 
Okay, that's out of my way. Let me run away in peace. Don't be an ass. This game does not kid around. At least this level does not kid around. The game has been relatively easy so far. Uh, this level is anything but. We will probably run into these uh, these chicken here again. In huge numbers. It's just, just an illusion. Ba 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 ba. Illusion. It's one of those times where actually falling down the pit was perhaps an easier thing to do than trying to play through the level. Right. Somewhere down here there was a door that we hadn't opened yet. And uh, you can only assume that it's the only possible door that we could unlock using this key and then potentially unlock i know it's a lock there is no way to fit this lock it, it does, does not fit, fit. It does not fit, he says. Of course it doesn't. Don't fit. Okay, so this is not this key at all. What? Door, does it then open? There's no way out of this, right? No. Yeah, and then Mighty Magic 2 is uh, positively easy right next to this right now. Although, uh, it's also just a very different game. It's a uh, one of the problems here is that uh, this is not turn-based, it's real-time, or as close as real-time as these games get, so it does make it in some ways a little bit more difficult. You can have elements such as the monsters sneaking up on you like this. Was there anywhere a door here that we hadn't opened? It does, it does not, not fit. fit. You don't fit. This damn thing again. Was there anything in this room? No. Just a pretty big 
control that room. It does not fit. No, it does not fit. That's nice. It does not fit. Back at the start of this hellscape of a level. Okay, I'm going to tell the game how to use people. Well, uh, we trudge along with this for a bit more. I don't like to lose. Mm, empty. <laughs> uh, damn it. Okay, so why are you being so obtuse to us, game? There's another secret wall here. So is that where we need to go next? in the welcoming party I'm sure he has friends what the hell is here some sort of weapon potentially not a great one it's impossible to tell really how great it is. This this is the part where I uh, would like to have it turn based because uh, right now we can't stop to cast a healing spell. And I accidentally clicked something in the inventory. Yeah. Bottles of poison or or this uh, mana rejuvenation potion here, the one health potion, this sword. Not really what we need.
Full Eta. Change Shang Root here to make some room for the potions. Leave this stuff here. Take this Cougar Saber instead. See if we can uh, rest, but of course we can't. to need to rest Try to save these mana restoration potions as long as we can. I have a feeling we're going to need them. Based on how this is going. No more secret. Walls to use here. this one where we found the key these two buttons which disable the the, uh, the pit this door this one which we do not have a key for although we do have a key and then there's this weird door here that doesn't let us in maybe it would let us in if we Where was the secret level? Now that we have this particular key, maybe that was what was missing. So chance, that's it. What is it that he's saying? Can't understand this guy. Fairly certain he summons all of these guys as well. This is just an exercise in killing monsters, but uh, perhaps not. You have no faith. How are we supposed to approach this? Does that even mean? Let's 
also nothing here. No secret buttons or anything that we can push. if we could uh, beat the door to death but uh, that sounds like a stupid idea doesn't mean I won't try it I still think it's stupid though maybe we should try casting freeze on the door as well I doubt it does anything it really only worked in the swamp so we could get past some items there Really, really not combat spell. You have no faith. So this is not the key. You have no faith. So this is not the key. What the hell is the key? I have no choice but to go back down the corridor which means facing these guys again there's no escaping that at least three of these guys Let's try to stay away as much as we can that was ill-advised. <laughs> gonna kill us? Yeah, they're gonna kill us. left down there these guys are really very hard to fight in these numbers left here we have no way of restoring our health I think I think we're going to die here yeah 
we are going to meet our demise unless we get incredible no entirely sure we're actually doing any damage to them from this far away we are definitely fighting multiple sets of these guys have respawned in various locations Fight safe. Scum. That's all we can do. The key doesn't fit. The key doesn't fit. How weird is it that the key doesn't fit? The key, the key doesn't fit. It basically looks exactly right. The key, the key doesn't fit. Why doesn't it fit? Yeah, it does. This is why I'm wondering. What are we missing here? It does not fit. There is no way to pick this off. It does, it does not fit. fit. You don't fit. It does, it does not fit. You don't fit. It, it does, does not, not fit. fit. It, it does, does not fit. fit. It, it does, does not fit. fit. It occurred to me. It occurred to me that you need to combine something piece I cake. Can't cast a spell, we're too close, we can't back up. So uh, that isn't an option. Hating it does nothing. Not even hitting it with a pickaxe, which has sometimes done something, does not do anything to us now. It does, it does not fit. fit. It, it does, does not fit. fit. You don't fit. It, it does, does not fit. fit. Maybe hitting it with this big ass hammer. No. It does not fit. There is no way to pick this off. So you've said... <laughs> Can't cast this spell either. It, it does, does not fit. It does not fit. 
It doesn't. It does not fit. It does not fit. It does not fit. <laughs> I'm open to any ideas, guys. I just hope this isn't a bug in the game, because that would really suck. Hitting the door does absolutely nothing. A warm lock. Yes, it is. like these guys at all. Of course, they won't let us rest in peace. Do we have no mana left? of these guys. Good. That means that it's probably not a bug. But there are a puzzle that we haven't solved. That's something I can live with. I can live with that. But there is definitely no way to get through this particular door. So that's not the way forward. So what do we do next? Fighting tons of these guys. It's just the way it is. They will have respawned by now. Cause us untold amounts of grief.
here comes the execution squad. When these guys hit you from the back this is a bad combination here we have a blue asshole in front and a couple of the yellow ones behind us again let's get rid of the blue one first he's more dangerous Actually, we can tackle the other one. Magic. No, you definitely don't have enough magic. No one has enough magic. Damn you. mid fight here these fights are so tough that uh, the likelihood of dying is just too high we did okay there for a while and we got cornered Come, more bad guys. The blue guy is potentially here as well now. Yeah, he is. He's beating up on us from behind. The blue man group. There is another one behind us. Somewhere. There are two of them now. I really wish that the bull cut I had enough mana to be able to cast a level 4 heal spell. That would help tremendously. What the hell was that? Did you hear something opening when we shot at the wall? Practically dead here. Although we're still somehow in this fight. Akata still has decent amount of spell energy.
eight crowns. Hmm, empty. It's a sword here. I wonder if there's something that we need with this sword. Did you hear that? Something is definitely moved by shooting at this wall. Not sure what, but uh, something is definitely happening when we shoot it. I think we're being fought from both sides now. Annoyingly enough, I think we're gonna meet our demise here. Damn it. Forget, I forget how much we had already tackled. Where were we when we saved? Yeah, we were just starting this annoying fight. a bit weird that it doesn't show it on the map what exactly is opened but something is definitely opened why are these are, are we being fought from behind as well is that why we're taking so much damage why we're taking so much damage yeah okay what is happening is we're shooting through the wall and pushing the button that's fine to die here I'm going to die here at least I think we are This is the Mystic Key. Hey there, Will Torres. Welcome in. That is the key that we have. It's called the Mystic Key. It just doesn't fit into the actual lock. Which is a bit of a bummer, if you ask me. That's weird. I wonder if we can uh, turn this key. Somehow, there is something we're missing here, that's obvious. I'm just not sure what it is. Die. You miserable bastard. Die.
All of the enemies here have of course respawned. How would they not have? And it won't allow us to escape into the hallway. So we'll probably die here. Trying to get back to the front of the level. This level really is stupid difficult and uh, it's not helping us right now with this puzzle that we can't solve. Get out of my way. Ooh, two, didn't I? Damn things. We know what to do here until we know how to escape. We can simply go down and rest in here. Been there, done that. Thinking we should probably put another safe slot here since I, if we find a way to solve this, I really don't want to have to fight through all of this again. I'd rather not, to be completely honest. So it doesn't fit. There must be somewhere in this white tower another door which this key fits. That is the only plausible explanation. But where would that be? Is it in the... In the dark room? Don't drop too many hints, PSI kick. We want to die trying to solve this rather than reading some sort of guidebook. The struggle is real, but uh, it's also what makes the game fun. Okay. Let's go back here. And the birds are here somewhere. Probably gonna shoot us down with fireballs. That's what they do. Dark room. Yes, it is a dark room. Hmm. It won't budge. Hmm. It won't budge. Oh, it doesn't budge unless you close the door. As we know. Got the way. <laughs> I forgot how to safely get through that. Yeah, yeah a little frustrating is an understatement. Well, 
It's uh, been a lot frustrating. Biscotta Rosia 445. A worn lock. It doesn't fit. I think we already opened this door. I think we have, in fact, opened pretty much every door. Or so I thought, at least. Except for one door downstairs, which uh, really is not possible to open with this particular key. We already tried the, um, There's this weird door here. This really leads nowhere. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, uh, we've made some progress at least. We found one key. What are we supposed to do with this shrine? That's one of the mysteries that we haven't been able to solve. If you take an item and throw it here, it ends up in the hallway. You can sort of push it, but it apparently won't budge. There are some candles on the altar as well. Don't seem to be able to use them for anything. Haven't quite figured that puzzle out either. That one remains unsolved. Where is that door? here it's also something that we haven't solved it requires a key which we do not have yet a worn lock at least i don't think we have this it doesn't fit it doesn't fit. It's one of those iron keys we've had some of these it before. Fit. It doesn't 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 fit. You're not fit. A worn lock. <laughs> A worn lock. It doesn't fit. And most of these locks we've uh, we've already opened. Oh, that's not really it. Close the grate. All these guys endlessly haunt us here. Although they're largely harmless. Okay. 
Okay, let's go back upstairs. I don't think there's any heating here on the first floor that we need. This is really the only way to go. It does not fit. No, it does not fit. Cow and chicken. Mostly chicken. Let's go back to the pressure plate room or the whole room, pit room, or whatever we want to call it. It's a save here, in case we fall down here again. Don't remember exactly how to do this. That wasn't it. There was a pattern to get through it. I uh, just don't remember what it was. That's it. And then there's it's a secret. An ba 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 ra. Illusion. Okay. One of the things that we did not, in fact, solve here. Are these weird buttons? And that was before we uh, discovered this secret room which we stumbled onto by accident from the other floor now some chicken coming our way here if it's uh, impossible to access it from this side maybe you can only walk through from the other side it's certainly possible you can fall down into this part of the level by dropping down a pit on the floor above so that's possible these pressure plates really only control these uh, weird lightning things. Fireball throwing chicken. These guys used to be a little bit tougher. They don't seem so tough now after all we've been through on the floor above. 
Although I'm not actually sure there is any point in fighting these guys. I'm just searching for some sort of clue that we could use. I do wonder if these buttons serve any purpose. Don't actually seem to do much of anything in this part of the level at least. We tried just an illusion. We tried every possible combination really. This game is going to be the end of me, I swear. Unlock. Yes. It, it does, does not fit. fit. No. It does not fit. It's it just, just an illusion. Let's set these buttons here. Turn all of them on. Just, just so an out. illusion. Just in case it affects something somewhere else. no way of falling down this one there's no way of falling down this one but uh, there is a switch there at the end which I wonder how we can get to maybe we don't even need to get to it That's right. That's what that button did. I couldn't remember exactly what it had done. We're down here again. Hmm. Empty. Yes, you are. You're very empty. You can hear the wonderful sounds of the chicken somewhere on the level. That ought to no, absolutely no good. There they are. There are two types of these guys. One of them can shoot fireballs, the other one can't. Okay. Better go down the stairs and rest. Better place to rest. Probably might be time to end the stream and return next Friday. This looks like it might take a while. We've been through all of this level many times now without finding any solution. Just fighting these guys will uh, take a considerable amount of time. Oh, 
long spell. Long spell. Unlock. Yes, it is. It does not fit. The key is blue. So, uh, this lock is not blue. So, it's not an obvious fit. Healing self. Mm, empty. It's a healing self. Getting quite good with the healing potions and the healing spells. Yeah, half the fun is not playing these games on Scum VM. Not playing them emulated, there is usually some sort of uh, compromise. The sheer number of these guys. Um, where? Where is this? Damn you! It's really the most difficult when they fight you like this through the walls when you can't even see them to fight them. level really is crazy difficult I'm almost dead here I've lost count of how many of these guys we fought but uh, it's been a few we have enough to heal them all a little bit and um, rest and go back upstairs this is a usual training in a way, but uh, leveling up is also very slow. So uh, all of his fighting has really not given us much of a level up. Back here. Hmm. Empty. Hmm. Empty. Yeah. And uh, if grinding is life, then uh, we're very much alive in this level. Done. Uh, ton of it. In fact, we've done very little other than grind. And we're still stuck, which is uh, relatively annoying. And we're not stuck because we can't get past the enemies, we're stuck because there is some puzzle that we can't solve. And that uh, annoys me more than anything else would. 
Leave me alone. I'm a tourist. We're being fought on two fronts here. Yeah. Knew it. The guy behind us as well. Cookie, this game. We just leveled up. One thing that strikes me is that uh, what we could do is move the a wand over to Bakata for a while. To enable him to level up his magic, it would help us tremendously. Conrad is at level 6 now, whereas uh, Bakata is still at level 4. So, uh, it's probably a smart move to, as we did with the crossbow. They're all uh, at rogue level 5 now, because we let them all use the crossbow. Try to even the leveling a little bit. This lightning wand is really the only very useful thing we found this level. But it is tremendously powerful, so I won't complain. This is basically where we're stuck, we're back again where we need to be. I'll save it here, we'll continue it next Friday. It's frustrating enough that I might actually look it up to see how we could solve it. Let's see who's on. We might potentially want to raid here. Cap comes with the shoes? Hell no. <laughs> Benhead is on, he's uh, doing an unstream like Kate night. I don't know why he's still going, he's been at it for 5 hours, but uh, <laughs> he's uh, doing a ZX Spectrum gaming night, I think that deserves a raid. Might not be on for all that longer, but uh, never mind. There aren't a lot of people on. It's Beats sending you to some random streamer. We have no idea who it is. Let's head his way. I'll set it up. Thanks for coming, guys. Shelter on Saturday tomorrow more Mad and Magic. Hopefully a little bit easier than this stream has been. Although it's also been fun. Just a little bit frustrating. Thanks for coming. Good night. You sleep well.